Hey everyone. So everyone keeps asking, when is the Civic getting started? When is this happening? When is this happening? When is... Hey Matt, when's the Civic? Hey Matt, when's the Civic? How about right now? Yep. So I am film crew right now. What? Don't judge me. Yeah, I just was like, fuck it. I want to rip this thing apart today. So... I so have. we parked the truck and brought the Civic in. Yep, Civic. And we haven't even opened this box from the nope. gentleman. Didn't even open it yet. From that really nice guy. He sent a whole bunch of cool shit. That was the the talented musician guy. Yeah. Did he put a note? Yes, probably destroyed intercooler piping. Sorry, question mark. Oh, there's a downpipe for the turbo. This is exciting. This is like Christmas. It's trash night, so might as well fucking get the trash out. Mott Den Meh Hoople. And we never opened this. This is from a couple months ago. Yeah, this is exciting. Here's a cornucopia of Chinese turbo junk. Use it, shelf it for later, burn it all. Whatever makes you happiest. Full disclosure, I kept the obnoxious blue catch can out of the kit. I'll repurpose it for the Turbo Fairmont build I'm working on. Do your worst. Clayton Smith, Loganville, Georgia. <laughs> Why did you keep my pretty catch can? That's awesome. Do, it, do as you see fit. Oh yeah. Everything's mint. Look at blow off valve. Flange. Because we need that. Oh look, couplers. I'm excited. What does he have in here? Three bar map plus chipping shit. Wow, so there's like chip ECU shit in there. This guy's a maniac. He said it was a whole kit. I'm not gonna have to do anything. Oil feed kit. T-bolt clamps. I pretty much have your head cut off from most of the video. I'm okay. Okay. That's a tiny ass. I don't feel like standing up. Is that for... That's like radiator or something. Really little pipe. Really small intercooler piping. Actually, that's probably off the turbo. The turbo has a really small outlet. Well, well this is Honda stuff. Well, the one kid I got didn't have such a small... M-Mo Power? Oh, a little boost controller and vacuum line. Damn. Yep. There is all sorts of shit in here. That's a big ass box. Wasn't there two boxes? Is that an instruction? Bullshit Chinese instructions. Are you gonna follow those? Turbo drain fittings. This is a box of goodies. Oh, does it keep going? Yeah, it's literally like Oh my god, there's a clutch in here? We gotta, we gotta buy a manual tranny now. I, I told you, we need to do a manual swap. There's a Ching Chong Because the automatic's not gonna hold and it's gonna really suck to drive. Ching Chong clutch. That's so cool. I mean, you've driven turbo manual Hondas and they're actually fun. Ching Chong. Bing Bong! <laughs> Show the box. It actually said Big Bong. Ching Chong and Bing Bong. <laughs> it's a four, four puck. That's going to be raunchy. Well, we got to get a D-Series tranny. They're all over Craigslist. Someone I know, probably. Oh, I'm familiar with that brand. Oh, this is the exhaust manifold. Uh, little like uh, gasket bolts, studs, actually. Cast iron manifold, ready to rock. EMUSA. Put that right on the fucking sunroof. We'll probably reuse the stock gasket. I think it's MLS, but this is a brandy new gasket that's a little quirk. A little curvy. This is exciting. 
There is I a fly. Can, I can put all this right back in this and set it out for trash then. Yeah, we can put you next to it. Yep, I'll sit in a chair. <laughs> Take me away, boys. Oh, I see a box that says Bob. This is like Christmas. Please don't hurt yourself. You're getting a little nuts because you're getting excited. This is like Christmas. Wastegate, ass load of springs, fittings. Was that VTEC blue? What's in here? Bob EM00 BL blue. Yeah, your favorite. You know you can't go fast blue without blue that. Vacuum line. You fancy. Yeah. I think you're this excited because you haven't played with anything in a while. Yeah, I just, and you just I'm done with my truck. I'm done. And you need a challenge. Yep, I wanted to take it all apart just for fun. What is this? What is this? Fuel pressure regulator, fuel line fittings that go on the Honda rail, I think. So that bolts on. And this is most likely turbo. Yes. How big is it? So regularly he wrote on it. Look at the bottom. T three, T four. On the other way, right there. Blow. Suck. You and that damn knife. Look at it. It's so little. It's so little. Suck blow. Huh? It doesn't scratch. It's ready to rock. Here, studs, no uh, nuts, oh, gaskets, nice, I can work with this. Okay. You're just happy to get a box out of the garage. The clutch and everything. Well, now we gotta get a manual trans for two dollars. I took a picture of the Civic in the garage and sent it to Drew Woodside, and I wrote the mint. All right. Well, I'll just clean this up and we'll get back. Okay. Cut. Pop these damn things out. Only thing holding the bumper on. Who actually puts those on? Stance kids, right? Yeah, because they don't want their bumper to pull off. I'd actually so they take love it off. to. This car has coilovers, and I should show them in the video. I would gladly trade someone's stock suspension. Are you sure they're coilovers? Yeah, I looked at them. I couldn't believe it. I thought they were just cut pieces of shit because of how bouncy it is. Like the car rides like it's destroyed. It has coilovers, actual coilovers from the back. Oh, watch the paint. Watch the paint, man. What are these for? Fog lights or something? Yeah, they usually put uh, fog light plugs and all of them because huh. it's just a base model, right? Or oh, maybe this that- is, No, this is a EX. So then it it's did have- Power windows, sunroof. So everything. it did have fog lights, so they probably just didn't hook them up. This thing's a beast. Well, I think I'm just gonna slice and dice the exhaust. I don't know what to worry about. I just gotta unbolt it. How do you think it'll do? Probably pretty good. Uh, get on the top. We're through. I think they're all rounded off. I think they'll go. 
Yeah. Is your truck project project don't bullshit me? Yep. I'm gonna put Arnold Schwarzenegger clips in. Don't bullshit me. I'm gonna Doug Bernard's it. Next on today's 10 minute turbo build, we have the stock gasket that looks minty fresh. So we're just gonna stick it right back on. And then we're gonna take some Permatex copper. Manifold straight on. Ah, uh, yes. I had to grind these on my manifold. It looks like they already did grind in there. All right, I got these guys. We'll see how they do. Yeah, they thread right in. LS motor mount bolts and some super short bullshit. And bolts and gasket already on the downpipe. Isn't that sweet? Okay. Turbo has to go on this way. Downpipe goes that way. Super easy. This guy going, they're all going. Are you on this? Close enough. We gotta clock this housing. And we gotta figure out, I'm sure the turbo is just supposed to go down. I wonder what I did with the intercooler. I think he sent one. I can't remember. I might have to buy one if I lost it. What the hell? Dummy. I'll probably just put it somewhere. In the ceiling. In the basement. Stashed it for a rainy day. loose. As you can see, turbo drain is straight up. Straight up. That needs to go straight down. 
So we will flip this guy around. And we'll just snug up one, maybe two. We don't need no safety caps. We don't need no stinking safety caps. All right, turbo's pointed down. So I always like to snug up the top ones. Leave all the other ones loose for when you first start it. And... That means my turbo shot. Oh shit, wait. <laughs> wastegate, let's put the wastegate on. We're flying. Never forget the fire ring, guys. So many people are like, my ship won't make boost. They never installed this ring. Oh, I gotta put these lock nuts down. These nuts. These look like they're just gonna strip the fuck out. Where am I at? What about there? What about there? Check out this beautiful viewer donated Allen key set. It's almost too nice for me to own. I need the rounded ends. These are a little bit too tall, unfortunately. Now I know what size I need. Funny story, my first Turbo Civic, I never put a dump pipe on, so it would just blow exhaust gas back into the turbo under the hood. She was good for it. Check this out. I think that'll seal, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, look at that. We'll ship it. A leak. The 13 fit this. It needs like a 14. We got this one. The other 916. One nine sixteenths fit, and the other one did not. Oh damn, injectors. Wow. Fully loaded here, dude. You're a maniac. What injectors are these? KM Racing, Blue Top 450s. Huh. How far can I go on 450s, boys? 200-ish, 300? I think I had 700s. 730cc injectors. In my turbo. Honda. Alright. Let's make a mess. Got the, uh... 90 degree jammer. Not ready to tear into this mint oil pan. Forward. Tap over there. We want to go stupid high. I can always change these fittings later. We need to go like up here. I'm gonna go in between these bolts. Oil pan bolts. For the maximum amount of room. I'm going go like right here. Crooked. Crooked as shit. What is that? It's a baffle or something. Fucking me over. Of course.
tiny bit. Tiny bit to one side, there's this fucking boss in here. Where is it on the other side? Nope, doesn't exist. Yeah. I can just hit it with a little hammer. Check out this guy. Fan mail. Air conditioning and half a rat. There she goes. Not in the way anymore. We are clean and clear. That got a little bump. Now all the aluminum is in the engine. Where we want it. All right, so what I decided on was putting this fitting into the pan and then just putting this barb I had on half inch to half inch barb. Make it way easier, put the line a lot higher. See? And then I can just razor this guy to about here and get a hose clamp. Hose clamp. All right, guys, I just have, I have zero faith in this, uh, this Ching Chong rubber hose. It is, it is like crappier than crappy rubber hose. So I grabbed some push lock and I put their AN clamp hose fitting on. So I will AN this guy to my hand. And then I will just jam this guy up on. Maybe I'll cut a little bit more out of it. Okay, kids. I got the turbo on, manifold, downpipe. Downpipe is <laughs> not in the right direction, which is normal for the last three kits. I have put on turbo Hondas. Drain is on, feed is on, turbo is bolted on, all the gaskets are on. I just got to cut this guy and re-clock it. The oil feed is going to where the oil pressure sensor was. And I'm just going to top it off with oil and get a filter tomorrow. And it can start and run and drive at least. And then it's going to be start cleaning up the engine bay, figuring out what five speed I want to put in it and engine management. But it's uh, drivable, obviously, without the piping hooked up. So we'll have that going for it and then locate the intercooler. I mean, I have a tiny ass intercooler for like a turbo motorcycle up here. We could always use that. We could just shove it down in there. It'd be funny. Tiny little 180T MR2 side mount. But not bad for a couple hours worth of work tonight.